to the second segment of this special podcast YouTube social media series, which is all about really nailing the first step of the via manifesting method. So when I say really nailing, I'm going to kind of do a high level experience where you can start to really see how it's important that getting steps right. You see, for absolutely years, I tried to figure out this whole manifestation thing by myself, okay? I really read loads of books, I watched YouTube videos, podcasts, and I was trying to like, actually podcasts weren't even back when I first started my journey, so I don't really know, books and like audios or YouTubes and stuff, but honestly, it was a bit of a minefield trying to put it together because I always felt like whatever I tried, there was like something missing. So it was a very much like a throw a spaghetti at the wall type of approach and see what sticks. When my life started to really start to change in 2016, I mean, it started to change prior to that, but I think the real shift started to happen in 2016. As kind of the years went past, it got to about 2018, 2019, and I was like, when I started to dissect and look back at what really made the differences, if I could teach to somebody else, what really were the things that turned that dial that helped shift my life to a new trajectory. It really was vision, identity, and action. And then when I went even more granular into that, it was the five steps that I covered in yesterday's video, podcast episode, social media series, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that was all about, um, so that was kind of the beginning of why I decided to create the JFDI Academy, because I was like, nobody's really teaching this in a way that's accessible, digestible, shortcutted, and, you know, step by step. And in the JFG Academy, what I wanted was it to be a place where you have instant access to all of the learnings, but you can do it at your own pace, and you could literally do an hour a week. If everyone could find an hour a week, everyone's like, I'm so busy. I get it. I've got four kids. I've got three businesses. I've got building a house. I get it, but I always find time every day, even for just one hour to work on myself. Because if you can find an hour to work on yourself, um, and not even in, 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 I'm not even asking an hour a day, I'm asking an hour in a week. If you can find an hour in a week, that's 52 hours of working on yourself over the course of a year. And most people don't spend one hour a year working on themselves. So if you could do 52 hours, you're going to be massively shifting the trajectory of your life. So I wanted it to be as simple and easy as possible. And the reality is, is you can do uh, an hour a week, you can do five hours a week, you can binge watch them all in one month, you can do it how you please. I really want it to be accessible for everybody, just to be able to have that available to them. Like the system that I use to change my life to go from 138 pound a week maternity benefits to creating a business alive, and you don't have to create a business, but creating a business alive and freedom and happiness in my relationships, my love, myself, um, you know, across the board. And so that's why I'm so passionate about teaching this. And that's why I'm so excited to welcome loads more of you into the JFDI Academy this week as part of the summer special whilst the doors are open. Um, so let's dive into building up upon what we talked about yesterday so in yesterday's video segment i talked about um the importance of being honest with yourself because the reason we're honest with ourselves will take us to the next piece that a lot of people do wrong the reason we're, i want you to be honest with yourself is because i want you to have real desire desire is like throwing kerosene on fire when we're trying to manifest something when we're trying to create the life that we want when we lock in a vision, the magic potion ingredient that helps someone really make something crop up is desire. So um, I think we, we get told this thing through life, which is like, don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. And when we get our hopes up, once again, I talked about this thing yesterday. It's like, if we get our hopes up and we don't get something that we want, we basically like are protecting ourselves. So when people say don't get your hopes up, they're trying to protect ourselves. When your parents are don't get your hopes up, it's because they loved you and they didn't want you to like be disappointed. But I want to sort of share an opposite to that, which is if we don't cultivate the desire of the thing that we want, if we don't send that message out to the universe in the purest form and really desire, desire is like love. Desire is like, I would love that. And love is the highest vibrational frequency on this goddamn planet and so when we are like i would love that i desire that 
Um, and it comes from a place of desire, not fear. We'll talk about that in a second. Then we are sending out the most incredibly clear message to the universe. When we have this desire, we are taking that thought and we're putting feeling behind it. And so when we, our thought is what sends the information out and our feelings is what creates that information to come back to us. And so we're, we're literally planting a seed into the universal quantum field of possibility. And desire is like sprinkling, you know, when you buy, um, when you buy like get gift of roses and it's got that little pack of like food that like keeps it alive. Like that's a little pack of food. You don't want your desire to die. You don't plant the seed and the seed does not die. Desire is what is required for us to create things. So here is the caveat, the caveat of desire. Okay, do you desire something because you think it will satiate a fear? Okay, so let me break this down. I don't feel good enough without a Range Rover. Everyone else has got a Range Rover and it makes me feel small that I'm driving around in my BMW or my Nissan and so I'm scared. I feel like I'm not good enough. So I desire that thing so that I feel good enough. Okay. It's very important when we're on this journey. And for me, my clients are very important. And I want them to be happy, fulfilled people who are living a life of meaning, who understand and can discern when they're operating through the lens of not good enough, through the lens of fear, through the lens of, you know, trying to fill a void so they feel like they're a better person versus someone that's like, this is what I truly want. This is part of my roadmap, my blueprint, my dharma, my purpose. This is the life that I want to create. And this is going to make me feel so good. Because when you operate from that paradigm, oh my freaking God, I promise you one thing, you'll manifest things 10 times quicker than when you're trying to operate through the lens of like fear, through the lens of like, I'm not good enough. Uh, because that is like not who you truly are. You see the I part of yourself, the soul part of yourself, the non-physical spiritual being part of yourself has inside of it locked in a blueprint of your life. And I really believe that your blueprint of your life, the roadmap for your life, the clues of that are within your truest desires of what you want to create. So if you're like, ever since I was a child, I've always wanted to write. You're not doing it because you don't feel good enough. You're like, I'm going to write a book so I don't feel good enough. I didn't choose to write my book because I didn't feel good enough without writing a book. I chose to write a book because I felt in every ounce of my soul, that's what I was meant to do. I was meant to write to help people. By the way, if you haven't got my book, I've got two books. Just fucking do it and you only live once. Uh, you only live once in the Sunday Times best-selling book. JFCI has been an Amazon bestseller 10 times. It's also in 10 languages. So 10 is one of my lucky numbers. Um, and so if you haven't got one of those books, definitely get one. Amazon. You can Amazon Prime that shit or you can listen to Audible. Um, so... Um, that I knew in every ounce of my soul that I was meant to write a book. I wasn't doing it because I was scared that I wouldn't be good enough. I wasn't doing it because other people had written a book. I was doing it because I felt deep in my soul this was part of what I was meant to be for my bigger vision of my life. So you might be asking, like, where do goals come into this? Well, goals actually comes into the third set, which is action, um, when we're setting goals. So it's actually not part of the vision piece of it, per se. Um, what, yes, we can break down our vision into, right, how can we take our life vision and break that down into 10 years or five years or three years or one year and all of that beautiful jazz. But for now, what I really want is like for you to get clear on that bigger, that bigger piece of your life. Yes, we can manifest smaller goals. Yes, we can manifest smaller things that you want to do. And um, when you look at your bigger vision for your life, I then want you to look at like the next six months. What would you really desire in the next six months? What would you really be doing in the next six months to move you closer to that bigger vision of your life? And we talk about vision it isn't just like the one area. I want you to really think about the different areas of your life. And in the exercise last night, those eight pathways is what I want you to think about. And every single month in the JFTI Academy, we meet at the beginning of the month or the end of the last month, and we do a monthly goal setting call, monthly goal digging call. And we look at every single area of those eight pathways, and we look at how can we move in each of those eight pathways, even just a little bit in every single one of those pathways. Because if we can move just a little bit every single month, by the end of the year, I promise you, you will have had one of the best years of your life in terms of your own growth and moving forward in your life. And I know this because it's been true for me. So, and not just for me, for most, you know, many, many, many of my clients. And so um, I want you now to really look at all of your, your vision for your life. And I want you to now mark next to it which ones are your top three in terms of like, oh my God, I desire this. 
So desire creates a domino effect. So the D and the D. Desire creates a domino effect. And desire creates a domino effect because if you can multi, if you can manifest the area of your life that you know has the will have the biggest impact on the rest of your life. So for me, focusing on manifesting the results in my business in 2016 was of paramount um was the most paramount thing to focus on, the predominant thing to focus on, because I knew that if I could create my business, not only would I feel great in myself, which would energetically like elevate me, it would create the finances to then help the rest of my desires come to fruition. And so it would create the domino effect. So I wanted to make sure that that was the thing that I was focusing on. So I want you then to like dial that down into like, what are the top three things? And if you could focus on one thing in the next six months to really put your attention into because where attention goes, energy flows, manifestation grows. So if you could focus on that one area for the next six months, I'm not saying you're forgoing the rest. It's like where your manifestation power is going into. Um, what would that area be? What would be the biggest shift in your life? And so I talked about honesty. Today we've talked about desire. I'm really putting that fuel in it. You've got another task today to go and prioritize those things and in the next video we're going to talk about um, the next step in really making sure that vision really comes to life i'll see you in the next episode and don't forget the jfdi academy is open to the end of this month only so june the 30th end of this day it's closing down on the summer sale offer and so if you want to grab this amazing bonus you're like oh my god no like you're speaking to my soul i've got to be in this i want to continue this journey then come and join me uh, by clicking the link below and do not miss out on this incredible opportunity to come and save loads of money and be part of this transformational experience i'll catch you on the next episode